Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are returning, thanks for coming back. In today's video, we are going to be planning for the week of July 13th through 19th in my skinny um, happy planner, which is for social media planning. So I plan out my Instagram posts or maybe photos that I want to take, and um, that's what we use this for. So I'm not sure if I wanna pull out the pages yet, but what I wanna do this week or for next week is use the new Brights sticker book, which it looks like I've already ripped here a little bit. But this is um, designed for the Skinny Planner, so I thought it would be the perfect time to try it out. So this week actually is my birthday. So Tuesday is my 33rd birthday. And I think I'm trying to decide what colors I wanna go with. Um, I definitely want to use one of these boxes here, which will fit one of these areas, I think, perfectly. Um, so, maybe if I do this one. You know what, I think we're going to just pull out a little bit of wax paper so that I can pull some stickers out of the sticker book that I'd like to use. So maybe... We'll use this sticker as an inspiration and just go with a pink and purple theme. So let's take out this get work done banner. I don't know if I want hello weekend. I just wanna pull out different colors. Maybe today is gonna to be, mm, I don't know yet, okay. Um, jot it down I like I like having this whole list here I may cover up that jotted down part but we'll see um, not for this not the gold I think there's a lot of gold in here um, a reminder can work find if any of these colors you totally got this is pretty and it has the purple and the pink in here these we may come back to later on not the gold check it off these are good too but we have this longer jot it down one mm -hmm. Maybe best day ever because it's my birthday. Put this one out. We may come back to these. You know what? I'm going to take a little page flag so that I can have access to these later on. A little sticky note. We'll stick that right up here. Um this pink one i'm thinking could work with best day ever when i mark down when it's my birthday not that i really need my birthday noted in a social media planner but we'll see how it goes and hmm. crushed it seek adventure slay today you know what, let's start to put stickers down and then we'll kind of see what happens after that. So I would like this do all of the things to go down here, but I know that it will, you'll be able to see the black through it. So I'm going to take my white jelly roll, which you often see me do on here, and just cover that up. I find that when you're using this, pressing lightly is best so the ink can kind of settle. If you press too hard, you're just going to make it more transparent. So really lightly, almost as though you're like very lightly painting it on. Okay, it's not perfect, but it works for now. And then I'm also taking out my trusty Avery True Block label paper which I now realize probably would have been better for this. So let's just stick a piece right here. Okay. 
I got that. And now, pull out, do all the things. I know that this is really meant for one of these days here because it has that space in there. Um, but that's okay. Maybe before I put that down, I'll grab another small piece of the true block paper to cover up this little note section right here. Okay, now let's try that again. And I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna put here, but I have an idea. Okay, now maybe we can put, oh, both of these fit, so let's see if you can see what I'm doing. This fits and this fits, it's here. So maybe we can find whew, a nice way to layer these. If I put this one right here, I'll be able to put that there, but I'm not really sure if I like it. Hmm. If I could layer it over like that. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Okay. Let's put this one here. I can't really line it up perfectly with the bottom line or it will get cut off. And now that side of the hexagon is getting cut off too. So let's see if we can get this to be perfect on the first try. Okay, there's a good hexagon. Maybe I'm gonna lift this corner up a little bit so that I can layer that sticker on top. Okay, let's pull that out. I also want to be sure that I'm not going to be covering up any of the words. Okay. We'll leave that one there for now. And then I think I want to use this longer jot it down as just kind of a running list throughout the week. So I'm going to, where did it go? need to keep these things much more accessible in the future. Here we go. Take this jelly roll pen again and white out this line a little bit. I used to have like a white out tape runner and I don't know where it is. I don't know if I finished it or it got lost in my move, which is very possible. Okay, let's get this sticker here. All right, now I don't really like the jot it down part because it's not, it doesn't have the same colors as the rest of the spread. So I'm going to take out Handwritten Plans, which is a new sticker book, and this is a little crooked. That's okay. <laughs> Originally, um, I was a little apprehensive because these are on paper and they're not clear, but I think that because it's on paper, if I find a long enough word, it will cover jot it down pretty well. So maybe there's you know, organize or ideas or to do's. Let's see. Remember, that's a possibility. Take that out okay. and do a quick flip to see if there's anything else. Remember maybe a good word because it's a little bit longer and it'll cover that spot well, or it should anyway. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that, if it works. Okay. See if we can test this out. Oh. And you know what? I think it's a perfect fit. Okay, I like that. I like how that looks. All right, next up, we've got get work done. Maybe we'll put this here. Okay. And then reminder. We'll put down here. 
under Thursday. And you totally got this. I don't really want to put it on this side because I already have a quote on this side. So I think I'll put it on Sunday. Next week I will have a little bit of extra filming to do because I'll be away the following week. And so if I wanna be able to keep up with the videos, I'll have a little bit more filming to do. Now, because I have this black in here, what I'm trying to decide are um, the bullets. So I'm trying to decide if I'd like to do bullets in the pink and the purple or do them um, in black. So I'm pulling out two sheets I have, one with circles and one with triangles and I think I may do black because I think it'll just work better this time because if I put purple up here then those are going to be stuck and then I can put purple here and then pink let's see and purple pink and then purple again would fall here yeah we're gonna stick with black um, I don't want to use up all of the teal. I don't want to cover up all of the teal. So we're going to go for peach and no, we're not because that marker has run out of ink. Let's see. I think I have another one that should work. Yep. And I know I talk about this each week in my skinny spread, but these are my favorite. This is my favorite way of doing bullets. And if this is your first time watching, um, using a thicker tip Sharpie or any permanent marker is better because if you use something, you know what, let me show you as an example. We'll do two examples. So here is a Crayola Super Tip and it's not as black. I don't know if you can see that well. Yeah, it's not as black. Um, if you use a Sharpie that's a thin tip, see if I have one here I don't think I do but what will happen if you're just coloring it with the tip is you'll have to press over areas more than once and the stickers aren't that durable so they tend to fray and rip it's not really showing there um, but trust me because I've done it so let's shoot down some of these bullets And I use these for maybe a photo that I have to take or I'd like to take or um, an Instagram post or uploading a YouTube video. And I'll just get these down. I don't really have any birthday plans because for one thing, my birthday is on a Tuesday and I'll be working and we are still sort of on quarantine. So there's not that much to do. Nothing's open, um, but maybe I'll get good takeout from somewhere or maybe grill. Thursday. And I, even though I don't really know what I'm going to be planning out or posting all week, I like to do two bullets a day because even if I can just take a quick photo or something, I find that um, it makes you know posting on social media a little bit easier if I have like a pool of photos to pull from or even maybe an idea list or something. So we're just gonna go with black all the way down. I think it looks clean and neat. And this time I'm not going to alternate the sides that I'm putting it on, but I'm really liking these skinny, the skinny sticker book. I think I lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> Having stickers that are specific for this planner is great, even though I, of course, have planned without it before because you, um, because this is the first sticker book that's meant for this size. I feel like this one's going to be hard, but it's okay. I think if I space them out enough, I'll be able to write on more than one line. All right, I've got that. Maybe I can stick 
birthday in here so that we have more than one of that sticker with the hand lettering. I could write like my 33rd birthday or something on it. <clears throat> oh, okay, we're just gonna stick with it because I cannot pull that up. All right, um, let's do a quick flip through and see if maybe there's anything else for this. I did also pull out some of these loose sheets from the Joanne Mega Pack, I think. And I'm wondering, I mean, these stickers are definitely too big to go here. Or maybe I can put, maybe we'll put two of them. Let's try. Hello, pretty. Oh, I don't know if I want that. I could put this one down here because this is usually, yeah, I think we'll do that. This is usually the section that on Sunday nights before I go to bed, I write down um, my statistics. I write down how many Instagram followers I have and how many YouTube subscribers. Uh, even though follower count isn't really that important to me, this kind of just helps me take a look week to week to see the growth that's going on. <sighs> Dry that off a little bit. Let's stick this here. Yes, okay. And then maybe we'll put this here, oops. Put this one up here. Okay, that's a nice little pink, purple, and black spread. So I'm happy with it. Um, the Skinny Planner is such an easy planner to plan in and to work with. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love if you took a moment to subscribe. I'll see you next time.